Hey guys, welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm up at the top of the Liver building in the best city in the world, Liverpool. Make sure you smash that like button, comment with your thoughts and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoy this video. Enjoy the view. Yes, hello and welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. It's myself, Fear GT and it's Mario as well. And look where we are. We're not in the studio. Before we even explain what we're doing up here, Remember to smash that like button, comment with your thoughts on all of the hot topics that we'll, be, with that, that we'll be speaking about in this episode. And of course, subscribe, Mario. Absolutely. Why would you not subscribe? Please, tell them where we are, my friend. Guys, we are in a very special place in Liverpool. Royal Liver Building, one of my favorite buildings in Liverpool. We are just, you know, Look at that. Look at that. Look at that the lava beards, beards up on our chest. Most loyal beards in my life. That. That's true. That's <laughs> true. So, yeah, a very special place for a very special channel, you know. Yeah, listen, it is. And we've got a special episode for you. Massive, massive shout out to the Royal Live Building 360 for having us up here. Um, a couple of stats just to throw off the bat about this building. It's the biggest clock face in the country. In the bigger country. than Big Ben. Than Big Ben. That's a stat that the Scousers love. It's also, it well, it was the biggest building in the UK for 40 years. For 40 years, 1920 yeah. to 61, I think. 65, was, 1965. Okay, fair enough. And it was the biggest building in Europe for 20 years as well. Yes. So this is the kind of heritage and legacy that the city of Liverpool has. Amazing views. What's a views, brother? There, Look at that. Anglican Cathedral, Met Cathedral. Obviously, on that side, you've got all the water across to the Wirral as well, which you don't like looking uh, at, do you? No, 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 I don't like I prefer that side of the city, so <laughs> it's definitely my favourite side. We're around about 100 metres up in the air right now, so please <laughs> make sure you're smashing that like button because if we have to abseil down, you know his experience with abseiling <laughs> isn't great. He's not a fan. Yeah. But listen, enough of that. We're at the top of the live building for episode 79 of Hot Copics. Loads of Hot Copics for you to talk about, Mario. Yes, and right. make sure that you're joining along with us in the comments uh, as well to make sure that you're as part of this as we can. Because we normally do this live in the studio. In the studio. So something different for you today. So, And it's a special up, feeling, you know. And it is a very special feeling. So make sure you smash that like button once more. Federico Valverde, the Uruguayan midfielder that got the assist against us in the Champions League final last year for Benicius. Um, rumoured today, reported by the Daily Mail, a £51 million bid has been submitted. We know Real Madrid have obviously got Jude Bellingham. They've got a couple of midfielders now who might not get into that starting eleven. Talk to me about that link and does it make you excited at all? And is it realistic, this one? If this is the question, if it's just a speculation or if it's really realistic, it honestly, mates, if we really want to buy uh, Federico Valverde, he's a special player, seriously. I like him, uh, he's been great in the World Cup, uh, he's obviously one of the, um, the best midfielders in the, in the Spanish La Liga yeah. and probably one of the best in Real Madrid as well. So uh, it's going to be a massive, massive sign if really we want him and uh, I'm not pretty sure about the price because uh, yeah, I know the Daily Mail says 51 million but mate, come on, let's be honest, 51 million for player of that tranche, player of that level, I think it's too... It's too um, like cheap. Well, Real Madrid so, could dismiss the offer and we could go back in with another one. But in terms of the profile of player, you've got a 23, 24 year old? 22, he's 1998, if I'm not wrong. Same so age of McAllister. 25? 24, yeah. 25. 24, 25, um, yeah. A very versatile player. Very. You see him play at right back sometimes from Madrid yes. in the middle on the right side. And then if a Cruz or Modric or Rodrigo comes off, he goes up to the yes. right wing forward as well. So he scores goals. Um, very, very big praise for Mancelotti last season. Um, didn't win La Liga, obviously, but still won a couple of more trophies with Real Madrid. Yeah. How many has he won now? But let us know in the comments how you feel about Federico Valverde, um, a player that's played at Anfield fairly recently, um, won fairly recently as well. So are these the kind of players that we should be looking at? And does he tick the age box, the versatility box, the clock mentality box yes. as well? Do you think he ticks everything? He's got everything. He's got everything. He's a complete midfielder. Obviously, he's still young. And uh, I think Jurgen Klopp is the perfect manager to develop 
and improve in your career if you want to obviously be a complete footballer. Uh, he knows how to work with the young players. And uh, you remember, Alex, last summer, I think, I'm not pretty sure about it, we submitted uh, like 100 million or 80 million for him. Do you remember? It. Valverde. No, it was for Valverde. Okay. It was for Valverde. Yeah, I'm that. not pretty sure, but I think it was for Valverde. So now the price is dropped with like almost half price. I don't know, mate, this is like a dream, you know. Obviously, it's not Bellingham. No one is like Bellingham, let's say it. But he's gone now. Bellingham, <laughs> my heart is... Listen, we have to move on. Like, look, my know, heart it's, is, it's broken. is crying, he's broken. Yeah, we have to move on. And obviously, he was our dream. <coughs> he's not anymore Liverpool's target. So, yeah. He should be, you know, and a brilliant sign. Yeah. If we speaking of more transfer rumors, um, we are hearing again that Gabriel Vega from Celta Vigo is uh, is a prospect for Liverpool. We've obviously kept an eye on him. There's been rumors now for maybe a week or so. Newcastle also in for him. They they'd like to bring him to St James's Park. A couple of stats about him from last season. Uh, I just had a look this morning about uh, some stats uh, about his last season. A central uh, midfielder from Celta Vigo, 11 goals and 4 assists in La Liga. 11 goals for the midfielder, mate. I know the Spanish league is easier than the Premier League, obviously, but this is massive stat. This is a massive stat for me. Score over 10. That's like Valverde numbers, really. Uh, probably he scored even well. more Valverde. Yeah. 11 goals for the midfielder, mate. This is a massive achievement, I think. So, uh, and he's 21. He's 2001 or 2002, so very Mental young player. He knows this stuff, isn't it? And Mental. lads, the, cl the release close. Guess how much is it, the, re the release close for him? Just 40 million of euro, not pounds. So around 35 to 34, get him. 34, 35. Yeah. Same price of McAllister, mate. Okay, well let us know in the Looks comments. promising, Gabriel you know. Vega, uh, Celta Vigo, obviously a former Liverpool no, I was, was going to say the word legend, but I can't bring myself to do it after that corner. Iago Aspas. Exactly. That's what uh, I wanted to say. But do you know what? In fairness <laughs> to him, and again, awful, awful Liverpool career. That doesn't even need to be a hot topic. But <laughs> he has turned it around for Celta Vigo. He gets into the Spain squad a lot. And he's actually, for some years in a row now, the highest Spanish yes. scoring, scoring player in La Liga after the, the Messi's Ronaldo's but Spanish player. He's up there. I remember, Alex, when we signed um, Iago Aspas from Celta Vigo in 2018. Number nine as well. Give him straight away Fernando Torres number. But that wasn't the, the, the biggest problem. The biggest problem was he had he, the, the start like the um, uh, uh, higher the goal rating or something like that, higher than Ronaldo and Messi the season before he came with us. So he had a massive, that's true, I remember pretty yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 2013, that's exactly 10 sometimes. years ago. He had a massive goal, um, goal ratio and then we signed him and we saw, you know mate, some players, they just don't made for playing the Premier yeah. League. Premier League is, is different. Spanish League is good, very technical yeah. football, but it's different stuff. Premier League is different word, mate. So some players, they just made to play in the Liga Española. Premier League, it's not for everyone, mate. That's true. Keeping on transfer news, and let us know if you want Gabriel Vega, would you prefer him over Valverde? But keeping on transfer news, we're hearing today it's confirmed. Calvin Ramsey, the right back for Liverpool that we brought in last year from Scotland. I think he made one appearance against Derby in the League Cup. Yes. Um, and, you know, I was really keen to see him moving back into the side this year, maybe deputised for Trent if he pushes into midfield over Conor Bradley, in my opinion. However... Connor Bradley, a fantastic season, we have to say, for Bolton. But Ramsey to Preston. Did you see that one coming? And do you think that's the right move for him and us? And does that mean that we're going to buy a new right back as well? Absolutely. 100%. Um, it's uh, good for the lad. He's just 19, mate. Uh, obviously, he played just one, one game last season. So he needs, he needs minutes. He needs to play. He needs to be involved yeah. every game. Uh, Klopp. Uh, is you know he didn't give him the chance last season because of injuries because he's too young probably he wasn't ready to play but I think this is the perfect move for him he's not going uh, uh, I mean just on loan so he's gonna play for Preston we we had in the past some players to give to Preston on loan to you know make experience stuff like this and obviously Alex that's what we need uh, to buy a new, uh, a new player we need someone who can play right back and center defender as well. He can cover the boss position in the same way. Like a Pavard, a Kunde. Yes, Pavard. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> Again, we've been linked with them. But what does this yeah. mean for Ramsey? Is there a way back into the first team for him because to come to have only one game to get so many injuries which again he can't control 
and we were gutted. I was gutted to see him injured so much of the season because I still think he's got a big future. But yes. is there still a route back into the mm. first team for him now? No, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think okay. so. I think it's just, it's, it's just the best thing to do. Go somewhere else, go in the championship. Show that you're a good player for Liverpool, same like Javi Elliott done like three years ago with, uh, with, Black, uh, with yeah. Blackburn. So show that you are good enough to be a Liverpool player. Come back to Liverpool and fight for your, uh, you know, for your place. Uh, so I think it's, it's the best move for, for both sides. Fair enough. Let us know in the comments what you think. Calvin Ramsey, stay or go. He's gone to Preston on loan, but does he have a route back? Spitz, again, staying, this might as well be an on, on the radar. We will get into more Gerard to uh, Saudi and El Etifiak oh. chat later. We'll talk about the Mbappe news, the City news of them winning the treble, as if anyone even celebrated that. I saw 10,000 people there <laughs> last night, but there was a million here in 2019, or half a million, and then... So it's 750, 750 in 750, last year. Yeah. That would have been a mil if we won the champ in the Prem. But Mate. anyway... Amazing. I digress. You can't Mate. buy what we have. Treble, 10,000 people. I'll go back to it. You cannot Ten. buy what Liverpool, Manchester United, through gritted teeth, have. Worldwide support, legacy, history for 50, 60, 70 years. And they just don't... They have a, a history, of course, and they're building to it. Amazing team. Allegedly cheating. You've got to put that in there as well. But yes, absolutely. It's just a bigger scale. And again, that's no disrespect, but it's just a bigger scale of fans that we have here. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, Kone and Turam. Right, these lads, and again, hands up, people, right? Because the last video I went off for Dave O'Cop, Dave O'Cop, yeah, um, who has He's a lot reliable. of followers on Twitter. He was reliable. He did the article, and I was quoting it. Um, obviously, there was rumours mixed in with that that the plane had been booked to Blackpool from Nice, and I assume that they were both on it. Hands up. Listen, I'm not the kind of person to clickbait. I'm not the kind of person to give you fake news. We like it to be really authentic. If you want that kind of stuff, there's other channels to watch, quite frankly, in terms of people spinning fake news stories and getting mad views. If anything, I'd rather have less views and it be more accurate. But hey, you know, it got a lot of views, just under 100K, thank you for watching it. But what I am apologizing about is it doesn't look like they were at AXA and it doesn't look like personal terms have been agreed, but I can only say what my source was and that was the Dave Cop article. You don't need to apologize, bro. You listen, just, you just about, report what you saw. Yeah. Authentic you are genuine, bro. You are I mean, genuine. So Come I on. Pre- oh, no need for hugs. No need for hugs. Yeah, why? 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 Um, but let's talk we about Latin lads. Kone and Turam <laughs> still linked. Um, they're going to be playing for France under 21 yeah. in a couple of weeks as well. Looking forward to watching them. Will it happen? Because I was excited. I wanted them to plus McAllister. That's a whole new midfield. I was happy with the price. Happy with the videos that I've seen. Kony and Taram, where do you stand with them now? To be honest, Alex, I prefer to spend, to invest probably 20, 30 million more and get Vega and Valverde together. Okay. This is what I want to do. Uh, because I know Valverde. Valverde is, you know, he's a special player. About the two French midfielders, they look very good. They look very promising, but I don't know nothing about them. So, uh, I saw... Nice and Munchen Gladbach. Some, uh, yes, the Nice and Mon- I know. Uh, I saw some, like, uh, you know, video on YouTube, stuff like that. It looks good, but so well, do looks the other Aspas. It looks good, it looks you know, good. Like, as we were saying earlier, he looked good on video as well, but, you know. To be honest, story. to be honest, if it's happened, I'm going to be happy. Otherwise, we can go with someone yeah. else. It's not the end of the world if they're not coming. But I wanted to get them, why not? So, we will see it's going to happen, mate. No, me too. I'm, I'm a fan of them. But then when you're linked with the Vegas, the uh, Valverdes as well, Prem- uh, sorry, La Liga proven, which in my opinion is a little bit more than Bundesliga and the French league for me personally. Again, you might disagree with that hot topic. But if you had to say now, out of those four names that we get two, and okay. again, this is us hoping that we get yeah. two, there's no guarantee we could just end up with one more. But if you had to pick two, it would be Valverde and Vega. Or yes. Because Co- I would say Kone and Turam, but then Valve- Valverde comes into it for sure. So maybe do you take Kone if, out? I'm not sure. But we, we should get two out of this four. I if hope. Valverde is really 51 million of pounds, get him straight yeah. away. Straight away. Now, today, go to Madrid and sign him. If he, he, he he's real price in 51 yeah. million, mate. If that's true, I'm going to get him straight away. Uh, otherwise, uh, Kone and Turam. Okay. If he's very expensive, I don't know. Again, let us know in the comments who do you want the next two midfielders that we bring in. 
Speaking of another player that's leaving, there was a big ceremony for him at the last game of the season. We know Milner is now a Brighton player. Bobby Firmino, still no club. Still no club. As uh, we, we await the Premier League um, fixtures on, is it tomorrow or Thursday? It, it's uh, 15th of May. It's in two days. You mean June? Sorry, yeah. 15 of June, so in two days. Two days away from knowing who we're going to be playing next season. Nine o'clock in the morning. Firmino still has no club. Keita now in Wolfsburg. Who? Keita, ah. exactly. <laughs> there you go. Good joke. But the Ox confirmed that he will go to Aston Villa. Villa. Um, what do you make of that? Again, playing European football, the Ox. Yeah. I mean, I, I love him as a I person, mate. I really. Even as a player. As a player and as a person, I really loved him. And I really wanted him to have not got that injury that he got because I do believe he was the best attacking midfielder in the Premier League in that kind of two to three month period. He was also, by the way, our highest goal scoring midfielder in the season that we won the league. I agree. I think he got eight or nine. Yeah. So there's definitely a player there. Henderson himself said, you know, whoever does get him is getting a top player. Aston Villa, is that the right move for him? And are you happy? And do you want to see him progress now? I remember when we signed um, Ox from uh, from Arsenal in 2017. 40 million. 40 course, million yeah. pounds. I was very I was very happy. I was very excited uh, because I always used to like him. I remember when he went to to the Euro 2012 with England. He yeah. was like the youngest player in the squad, and uh, all the speculation about him like he never played in the Premier League. No, that was Walcott. Yeah. He had like so just a few games in the Premier League, but he always been a great player, physically strong. Uh, I know. He's like a straight player. He get the ball and Direct. he go forward. Zyrex, what we straight. needed. At the what time. we needed. Uh, we that goal against Manchester City. Uh, in Both the, goals. In the yeah, one in the Premier League, one in the Champions League. I mean that one in the Champions League. The first goal. Wow, what aren't you? Actually, that was the second goal of the game. What's a goal? What's a goal? What so a finish, uh, I'm. I feel a bit sorry, like for him, that he didn't show what he's really uh, capable to do. So he didn't show for Liverpool what he's really yeah, good. He's very good, mate. He, he's very good. He had a lot of injuries. That injury against Roma, before that injury, he was Liverpool's best player. Yeah. He was Liverpool's best player. Even better than, obviously, Mohamed Salah had 40 and something goals that season. Yeah. But uh, Ox was Liverpool's best player. So I think he's been like, um, he didn't show what he really can do. So I'm a bit upset about this. I wish him, I wish him all the best possible for the rest of his uh, career and I think Aston Villa is very good very very good move for him yeah no, with agree. Emery Emery super manager Emery, so. fantastic manager yeah um, Felipe Coutinho now 31 um, who he joins maybe he goes away from Villa but they were Liverpool teammates at one point so yeah I'm glad that he's got that to look forward to let's talk about the wider footballing hot copics Man City they've done the treble <coughs> they uh, they did I beat Inter Milan, we watched the final oh. together, we were both gutted, if we're honest, we were both gutted that City won that because it kind of takes away that special thing that we always had over them, but again, if they can't do it after two billion spent, ten years of trying, they're going to have to do it sooner or later, but in terms of football achievements, where does that rank for you? When you win the treble, it's you know it's and probably we could have done one more than that last we year. We couldn't do we we could yeah uh, don't remind me last season oh, no, please. No, no. Philip Should we just Bass. jump off here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, Alex, they made history definitely. When you win the treble, same like uh, the other side of Manchester they did in 1999, it's something that is gonna be in the history forever. Unfortunately, we have to say, uh, but to do that. What they've done, they invest two uh, billion of pounds. Uh, they spend money for like crazy money for you know they tried every season. This season is gonna be our season. We're gonna win the Champions League. I remember Sergio Aguero interview. Yeah. I gonna play for Manchester City until we gonna win. And his English is horrible to be honest. Uh, yeah, and ten years in England. And ten years in England. Translator. Uh, Cesc Fabregas was his translator. Yeah. That's ridiculous to be honest. Yeah, I gonna stay with Man City uh, until we gonna win the Champions League. He never won the Champions and then League. He, he retired. Left. He retired. They won it the next year. I think he was and then the Argentina won the World Cup yes. as well. Should have stayed on one more uh, year. But listen, Aguero it's hard is, to take, right? It's hard to it's take. Hard it's to hard. Take. It is. It we were supporting take. Inter like same mates when the game was gone. I was feeling that you know that Liverpool, that Liverpool lost in the final, because for us big Liverpool supporter is painful mate yeah. to see the City win the and treble Mateo as well, Mateo. and Matteo Matteo big up to Matteo Forza Matteo so, uh, Liverpool living um, legend but also an Inter Milan fan as Inter well. they play my, they my play neighbor. very good 
They should have won that. They should have won. One, they should have won. Honest, and I can't believe they didn't. But anyway, um, Mbappe has come out yesterday um, saying he's written a letter to confirm what he said last year because he released a statement today that said, yeah. in 2022, I told them I would be staying till 2024. Yes. Um, there's been stupid rumours that were never really going to happen in terms But of, he doesn't want to renew the contract. He won't renew the contract, which means they're not going to let him go for free next year. So he has to go this summer. Exactly. And is that why Valverde, they're looking to sell him to raise funds to, for Mbappe to go to Real Madrid? Because where else is he going to go? Of course he's going to go to Real Madrid. Of course he is. But what do you think about this? And, and who do you think is going to throw their hat in the ring for him? I think the price of uh, um, Mbappe just 150 million of euro, yeah. which is made, if you think about it, is not too much. Not that much, for, really. For a player of, of, of that category, for that level of player. So, uh, I'm going to be like stupid if I say, let's try it. We're not going to try for you him. You say there was a conversation with Klopp, but it was never more. You remember than that? that small kind of paper he gave him in the 2018 yeah. game uh, when Firmino scored uh, yeah. the no-look goal. Uh, it's, uh, I want to know which manager, big manager with the big clubs, doesn't want to have a, a player like Mbappe in the of team. Course, of course. He's, the, he's the one of the best players. He's still young. He's 1998. So, uh, can we try? You think uh, we are? No, it's no, possible. No, no. I wasn't bringing it up as a but hot why topic not? to try it, because it's not going to happen, bro. He's going to go we, to Real Madrid, we, mate. He's doing his Real Madrid. Of course he is. But his mum supports Liverpool, as we know. So we were hoping about yeah. that. But I'm not getting sucked into the Bellingham thing again. I've been hurt now. I've seen Trent and Henderson today linking up with Bellingham in the England training camp. I think they're in Malta at the minute with our boy Jamie. He's definitely around outside our, the door. Our, our, our stalker, Jamie. She bet us. Jamie, we love she you, lad. Vamos. Um, not, not this Jamie, it's a different one. No, not this Jamie, yeah, not our not Jamie. You. But um, they're in Malta and it hurts seeing the pictures of Henderson Behind with the Trent. And, um, and, uh, and Jude as well. So he's definitely going to Real Madrid. They, they seem to be getting everyone for, for any price that they want. But... Yeah, listen, let us know in the comments what you think. Where does Mbappe end up? I'm putting 100% of my chips on Real Madrid. I'm not even going to put one on Liverpool. Alex, why? Because I'm not trying to get drawn into the painfulness but of believing something's going to happen for six months. This is just way off. The, the Bellingham one we got sucked in with a little bit, but I'm not getting sucked into the Mbappe one. That's a joke. I'm not even entertaining the thought. All right? There's the police. Going why past. why all the think about Mbappe coming to Liverpool? You're getting in there. <laughs> why all the big players, all of them, they're going to Madrid? Why? Well, why? Uh, why? Mucho dinero, Galacticos. Galacticos, mate, they have no supporters. They booing them. Raul. <laughs> yeah, part of Raul, which is like one of the best uh, Real Madrid supporters. No, seriously, mate. You know, uh, same, same situation with Paris Saint Germain. They, during the, the Paris Saint Germain celebration for the title, they were booing of, of yeah, no, Messi. No. And, and they did with, with Cristiano Ronaldo, Real Madrid in the past. It's something that you go for Madrid, for what you go for Madrid. Come in the Premier League, is the best league in the world. Come up here. Mbappe, Seriously. If you're watching this and you fancy a little tour up here, I can probably sort that for you. I think the biggest challenge, right. the Why, biggest challenge for the, for the, you know, all the big players in this era, they have to play, they have to play for few seasons in the Premier League yeah. because the Premier League is the best league in the world because the best players they come in here because the real football the real football is in the Premier League they have to come in the Premier League mates right well someone that was in the Premier League and is not in the Premier League anymore as a player or manager anybody dreaming to go Real Madrid to do what to get in the ball for every game the final come on probably another one that's left the Premier League Steven Gerrard the new manager of Saudi Pro League club Al I mean, not butcher this. Al Etifak. Now, I've seen some Bit Liverpool fans. Name. Yeah, for sure. Etifak. I've seen some Liverpool fans today on social media saying they're not. They're all, they're, not that they're not happy with Gerard moving there, but it's a bit strange because clearly it's it is. for the money. It is. Right? Clearly it is, it is and we, we're not stupid. We know that. But it is. Do you think that this maybe? It's a difficult question. You know what the question I'm trying to ask I, you? I get it. And I think you know at home, but when Klopp does go, and we never want him to go, there will naturally, the media does this, they whip up the chat around Gerard to Liverpool at some point. It was there when he was at Rangers, Aston Villa. But now he's gone to the Saudi League. Do you think this will harm his future chance of getting the Liverpool manager job? 
obviously Alex he went to you know to uh, that team I don't know even the name Al Etifak Al Etifak just for the money that's obvious but I'm a bit disappointed with Steven Gerrard yeah. you know how much I love Steven Gerrard and, and what player he was for us so if you want to uh, be a good a successful manager you don't need to go now in this stage of yeah, your career to to that team because you you go there just for the money. Uh, he has to you know to to become a good manager to become a, a future of Liverpool or something like that. Because I really hope to get Steven Gerrard one day, not because of his capacity as a manager, but because of only on the name and his personality. So I think this is it's not a stupid uh, move, but something like that. Mm. Probably waits another ten years, and he, he has money but anyway. You know he, he doesn't gets, need that yeah. money. He doesn't need in that money. In the press conferences, he'll say, "Listen, the standards, yeah, George, the standards very high." He does. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Yeah. He doesn't need that money, mate. But they're going to say that the the new league, the upcoming league, is the Saudi oh. league. But we know it's for the money. But let us know in the comments what do you think about that? Stephen Gerrard to Saudi. It's going to be strange hearing him speak in a in an understandable accent for the press out there to understand him. Could even see him in the robes. They could get him really involved in the, the Muslim culture, which I think would be quite entertaining to see. Yes, yes. BBG, a born scouser from Heighton. Uh, but listen, all, all the best of luck. We hope that one day he... But I don't know what I hope. I, I don't know if I want him to be the manager of Liverpool one day. But mm. how does this affect it? Let us know in the comments. Just before we go, um, Alisson has been voted the standard charter player of the season. He as we said, it. we've all said it as Alisson. It was obvious, but yes. it's been confirmed today. The best goalkeeper in the world, as we know. Uh, player of the season, there you go. He's been voted. Just now? Just now. One hour ago. Yeah. He deserved it, Lars. 100%. He deserved it. Um, He's so been the best. Let us know who you think, if it wasn't Alisson, was the best player um, around as well. Um, and I think we're going to wrap it up there, Mario, because... I think we should take in this view. You can see Lime Street there, Radio City, the cathedrals, the other bird. This one looks this way to protect inland, the city of Liverpool. Yeah. And the liver bird that we're currently right under, which yeah. is quite scary looking it's up. It's quite scary. Fact. It's quite scary. Look up there, he's facing, or that liver bird is facing that way. Yeah. And they say that if these the two birds bags. fly off, the Liverpool will cease to exist. So, again, massive shout out to RLB360 for having us up here. Massive um, shout out. Thanks very much, guys. 100%. Make sure that you like the video, comment with your thoughts about every single hot topic that we've spoken about. And uh, next week, quite a sad one. You're going to be on holiday. Yes. I'm going to be on holiday. I'll be in Miami, to be fair. So, again, <laughs> Miami, cameraman, just give me Miami, a Miami, Miami. Can you imagine? And then the week after that, I'll be in Jamaica. Oh. So, uh, sorry. Us? Give me some space change, you know. But yeah, really looking forward to that. Hot Copics will still carry on. We'll try and do it online next week. We will um, see. Where? Listen, we have to try. Okay. All you can do is try. You have to give everything and, and try for this. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, Mario. <laughs> Raul. Right, Mario. What Hermano. Hermano. Placer. Thank you so Before much. Before we finish, we Go have on. to say something. Go on. My city, my people, my, my heart. My, my city, city, my people, my heart. Oh, to this place. Look at place. that, mate. Look what a beauty, mate. It's Look at that. Family. Look at that. Look, you can, we can see even Anfield, yeah. the main stand. Goodison Park. It uh, doesn't matter. Goodison Park. Yeah, and, yeah. and this is the, the new... Uh, what, a, what a shame that they building the, you know, the new stadium on, in town. What a shame. I know. I'm going to move from the sound then. Yeah, Costco looks better. Uh, yeah, Co Costco looks um, better. But if you are watching this on YouTube, as we've said already, smash all the buttons, comment and subscribe. Peace and love. We'll you see have you to. Vamos. Up the reds! Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Cop TV. The voice of, of football's, football's most, most famous, famous stand. stand.